Oh my gosh. Hi everybody, I'm Ashley and today we are making over a dorm room. It is for Riley, who is a super hardworking, awesome college student with a ton of side hustles. This girl's time management skills are through the roof. She has so much going on and is so positive about everything happening. So take a look at the video that she sent me and you'll see who she is. My name is Riley Prenian, currently a rising sophomore in the business economics program. Obviously for every college student, college is very expensive and a majority of students take out multiple of loans. And this past year specifically has been very difficult financially. I took up four jobs this summer. The dorm room is really the one safe space that I had last year. And I think this uh, opportunity would not only help like me start the year off on the right foot, but give me like all the positivity I need to continue life in the city. She has been a busy girl juggling a lot of things in a lot of different arenas of life and I want to give her a space that she can feel good in and feel like she's just set up for success. Before we get started though, here is a quick rundown of how I'm going to do this. First, I'll do some research. I'm gonna search the web for anything I can find about what solutions they might need, what their style is like. Then comes the makeover. I'll have a couple hours to completely make over the space. Finally, the big reveal will show them the new space and see how well I was able to translate all my creepy research into an awesome new room. It is research time, and just to save some time, I put all of my research findings into a nice little study guide of everything I found out about Riley online. So here we go. Riley is from Illinois. She is working four different jobs at the moment. She stayed in the city this summer instead of going home so that she can continue working. She's entering her sophomore year. She prefers cool tones like blues and greens, and she has three roommates this year and is assigned to a top bunk. All right, so that is my research. I am very inspired and Riley just seems super cool. So I'm excited to meet her. It's time for this makeover. I just got to Riley's dorm. I am pumped. And Riley is out today doing one of her many side hustles. She is busy. We are busy. We're getting a lot done today. Here are the six projects we're gonna do to transform this dorm. The first thing we gotta tackle, like many of our makeovers, is arranging the furniture. Next is a snack center. I have a little trick for a mini fridge that I think is gonna help them out. Next, we have two pool noodle hacks. I'm just gonna leave it at that. You'll have to keep watching to find out what they are. Next, we have a little hack for organizing shower caddies. And then since Riley is on a top bunk, I have a little nightstand solution for her. And then lastly, we're gonna decorate. Make it so that the room is really cute and inviting and feels like home. So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm so pumped to get started, and I am so curious as to how I'm gonna make all this furniture work. So let's get started on that furniture Jenga. Did I just say Jenga? It's Tetris. It's definitely Tetris. Jenga would be bad. That would mean that everything's gonna fall down. All right, our first project is arranging the furniture. There is so much of it. I thought the classroom in the first episode had a lot of furniture. Well, now we have a lot of furniture and virtually no space. So I have to figure out a way to make this work. What I think I'm gonna do is put likes with likes. So they have these standing wardrobes. So I'm gonna put those together on one side of the room and then put the desk together on the other side of the room. Our first project is good to go. The furniture is arranged and now it's time for project number two. What I'm doing is actually taking a toilet shelf and I am putting that over the mini fridge. Typically these are just the right height and it is a great way to organize plates, snacks, all sorts of things. All right, next for these elusive pool noodle hacks, there's two really great hacks that I want to implement in this dorm room. The first one is to use a pool noodle between your bed and the wall to avoid things from falling down. We've all been there when the midnight Instagram scroll ends up with you squeezing your arm between your bed and the wall. Well, you don't have to worry about that. If you just stick a pool noodle right in between your bed and the wall, really wedge it in there and it should stay just fine and avoid anything from falling through the cracks. The other way I'm using a pool noodle is to make some cushions for the ladder to get to Riley's top bunk. I'm just cutting it to size and then covering it with white duct tape just because it's a little cuter and it also holds it in place. I will say be careful because these can slip around if you don't get the size just right. So if that's the case, you can actually cut a rug grip and put that on first and then put the pool noodle on top and there should be no slipping. 
We are halfway done. It is time for our fourth tip hack project, whatever you want to call it. And that is organizing the shower. So there are four girls living in here and that means that there's going to be a lot of beauty products. What I'm going to do is take a tension rod that is meant for a shower curtain and actually put it on the inside of the shower and put some S hooks so that the girls can hang their shower caddies. In the original setup, Riley was using the top of her wardrobe as like a makeshift nightstand, but she also had a lot of shoe boxes up there. It, it wasn't super functional. So what I'm gonna do is take a picture ledge and put that next to her bed. And it's a place where she can charge her phone and just put little things she might need, like chapstick. And then she'll also need an outlet up there, right? So I'm taking a power strip and using zip ties to tie that to the side of the bed so that she can charge her phone in the night, no problem. So those are some very fast tips and tricks. I realize they're pretty low lift tips this time around, but I think they're really practical solutions that I hope uh, can help Riley and some of you guys out there who might be in dorms. Now that we've got our main tips and tricks and projects and hacks, whatever we wanna call them done, it is time for our final checklist item and that is to decorate. Almost all of this bedding is from Target. Riley told me she liked cooler tones, so I went with this light green teal look uh, and I tried to make her roommate's bed and hers complement one another. Also, it is impossible to make a top bunk. I tried to find some hacks to make it easier, but I just really could not figure it out. So if you have any tips for making a top bunk bed, please let me know in the comments, because I'm very curious as to how people look like this. Another little hack I have is taking a pillow sham and using that to cover a desk chair. It's usually the perfect size for a regular dorm room desk chair and it kind of looks like a slip cover. All right, that is all of our projects for today. Riley is about to get back and it is time for this reveal. Let's show. Here we go. You're in your dorm. It's back to school. It's yes. the best time of the year, Riley. Mm -hmm. Imagine your old dorm for me for a second. Yep. How does it make you feel? Um, it makes me feel good, but it's just, it doesn't feel like home yet. It doesn't feel like no. home. Okay, all right. I think we're getting a little closer to home with this. So, are you ready? <laughs> You're nervous. I'm so nervous. I My nervous. eyes are like <laughs> flickering. I'm like, stop. You're embarrassing yourself. There's no need to be nervous yes. because you can open your eyes. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. It looks beautiful. Okay, Thank go you. explore, explore. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh! I actually wanted this like freshman oh year God. and I never got it. Oh! Oh my god, oh and all the pictures. Oh my goodness, this cover is so nice. Oh my goodness. Alexis is gonna love this. The first couple nights I kept slipping, especially in the middle of the night when I try to get down because these pegs are so skinny that it's hard to like grip your foot on the pegs. But now that I have these, I feel like it's gonna be really nice. Chilling with my cool toned bedspread, keeping it calm, cool, and collected. I hope that this is a place where you can recharge yes, and you have a great year. Yes. And thank you so much for having us over. This thank was so you. much fun for me. And I hope you have a great school year. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, thank of you course, so yay! Thank you so much for watching. I've had so much fun with this back to school mini series. This is our final hoorah. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're going back to school, I hope you have a great school year. And if you're not, I hope you still take this time of year as an excuse to have a fresh start, to try a new project, to buy yourself some new shoes and start on a fresh page. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas for a mini series. I'm looking for some new mini series material. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.